HLS Show Me How, Easy Learning and Testing with PowerPoint and Forms. Hi, I'm Michael Giannotti, and I'm a HLS Technology Specialist for Microsoft in the Northeast region. So during Ignite, one of the announcements that came out was around the inclusion of forms within PowerPoint. Now, it's important to note this is PowerPoint 32-bit, but it does allow for some very interesting scenarios. The original announcement was actually targeted at the education sector. However, there is a lot that we can gather and take from that when we look at health care and life sciences, as well as anywhere where you may have, for example, folks on a shop floor. We can have clinicians on a hospital floor. We might have folks working in pharmaceutical. Where we want to do training where we can use PowerPoint to set up, for example, a presentation in a kiosk mode or some other fashion, and then be able to query the uh, person who is watching that from said kiosk and be able to capture their knowledge to make sure they, in fact, uh, mastered the material given. So we're gonna take a look at how to set that up. I'm gonna use the use case of a person who needs to scrub in for surgery at a hospital and we'll see how easy it is to build this out. So as I mentioned, we're going to be taking the use case of clinicians who may be at, at a hospital, and they have to look at proper hand washing prep for surgery. So here we've prepared a PowerPoint. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've gone on the internet and I've just grabbed some basic text here. So proper hand washing techniques. We have hand washing 101 and I have this is slide one description, slide two, slide three, slide four, slide five. I've even included a video demonstration that our users can come in. And in fact, if I want to click here, I can say I want to preview this and you'll see this one I grabbed from YouTube. It could be a local file. Uh, in fact, that might even be a better way to do it. Um, oops, want to preview. There we go. So then we can play and you can see I've got a there we go i've got a high definition video that's layering in here so we've got all these various elements but at the end we want to test the knowledge of those who've watched it and then we want to be able to run it at a single workstation where people can come up this is where it gets great so i'm going to come up here and in fact i could have knowledge test here in fact let's actually just take that out let's go ahead and insert a blank slide and we have plenty of real estate to work with. I'm going to go over here to insert. And you'll notice now we have the new insert forms. So I simply click that. It's then going to open up a pane over here to the right hand side that says forms. Insert surveys or quizzes into your pre presentation. So I could create a survey form, for example, here. In my case, I'm going to create a quiz. And when I click that, you'll see that it's gonna actually go ahead, it says loading, then it's gonna open up in the browser for me a view to setting up a quiz. And so this is untitled, so I could say this, let's give it a name and we'll call this surgery prep hand washing. And then we could give a description. Once we're ready, we can then begin to enter our various questions. So for example, I could say, you know, when washing, should you use the provided soap or not? Now, this is a silly question. We all know the answer to that. I'm just making this very simple, yes. Whoops. Like that yes no notice I can then make allow them multiple answers make a required um, then I can say what the correct one is if I want so it'll actually grade it and I can continue to add various questions you'll notice I have the choice around adding multiple choice free text ratings dates um, something else I might want to add here is if we're going to do this in a kiosk where it's not actually authenticating the person, I might want to say your name and then let them have that here. Then we'll say another free text, your 
email, and then we're done. Once I'm finished with all this, you'll notice if I come back here to our presentation, it's already entering that here within the PowerPoint. So now that we've got our quiz, we've got this whole instructional piece, we can actually come back here and we can say we want to set up a slideshow to place this there. We have a couple of options. Is it presented by a speaker? No. This is going to be by individuals who are going to come up. If we did a kiosk, a full screen that locks everything out, we could say which monitor it's going to be on. Um, it automatically grays out loop continuously, um, slow show all slides, and we could do some stuff. I'm going to though say an individual and say loop continuously. And I'm going to say OK. And we're going to add just one additional slide. Let's come here. And we'll just say thanks and then say thanks for taking the time to learn how to wash your hands. There we go. All right, so we've got that. And we'll have one more. Please advance to beginning for next person. There we go. And so we could do that. I could add a little click or whatever. But now that we're all finished, we can now come here back again to our slideshow and we'll go ahead. Let's say we want to say from beginning. Notice it's now set this up. We have advancing tabs to and from. So a person can come up. They can click through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good. They could watch the video. And then when they're finished, they can come up, take the test. What's your name? Michael Gennady. My email is me at me.com. Submit. Boom. It's done that. Click to our next one. Please, thank you. And then they can go ahead and advance that. And we're done. Or we could have put a timing to automatically loop it around to there as well. So that's it. I mean, it's pretty, it's easy peasy, right? Now, certainly this is no replacement for a learning management system, et cetera. But, you know, if you think about various scenarios where you have subject matter experts who maybe there may be, you know, you want to create content quickly on the floor for use. Again, it could be at a hospital. This could be in a clinical setting. It could be, let's say you're manufacturing drug, drugs on the shop floor, latest best practices, et cetera. PowerPoint and Forms is a quick and easy way for you to empower your users or folks there to create content that can allow them to cross train and then to even get feedback. And of course, it could be a survey, you know, looking for best practices. What do you think? How would you improve? A myriad of ways to use this and of course while we're using it here in this way we could also use for example sway with forms and other things but of course here you see if I know nothing more than PowerPoint and how to ask a question and put in some answers I can create training quick and simple I hope you found this helpful again my name is Michael Gennady and if you want to connect with me and my colleagues you can always find us out on the HTTPS colon slash last aka dot ms slash hls blog that'll take you to our healthcare and life sciences blog I ask you to follow that you can connect with me you can find me out on linkedin you can find me on facebook on twitter love to connect with you and if you have questions around how you can easily do things for your users and empower them using the latest and greatest from microsoft 365 we would love to help you with that I want to thank you for watching today's video Bid you have a great day. Take care and as always, ciao.